So today's video is going to be a story time video. We have had a couple bumps in the road on this no spend year and I thought I would take the time and tell you guys what happened and how much money we didn't invest because of it. It was the very end of April I believe and we started noticing that our air conditioner just wasn't putting out cold air. There was a couple hot days and it was just not putting out like super cold air. And this happened to us last year also, and we had to um, get something recharged. I don't exactly know how air conditioners, heat pumps work, but let's just say it cost us like 300 bucks to get this done. And he wasn't sure if it was just like, like the air conditioner hadn't been recharged in a while or if there was a leak. So essentially because this year it wasn't blowing cold air again, the air conditioner, we determined that there's probably a leak and we were quoted some things and it was pretty expensive. So we were like, let's just get a new heat pump furnace. Ours was over 10 years old. Um, I think it was 14 years old. Um, so we proceeded to purchase a new heat pump and furnace. And if you've done this before, you'll know that it's not cheap. This is um, the second house we've had to replace a heat pump and furnace in. Uh, when we purchased this house, we did know that this was something that was going to have to be done in the future. We were just hoping to get a few more years out of it. But overall, the cost to replace uh, our heat pump and furnace was in the ballpark of eleven dollars to $12,000. Um, most of you probably know, my dad lives in an apartment below us in our house. And we split all major home renovations 50-50. Um, so our portion ended up being $5,000. $732.07, which is still a huge chunk of change. Um, luckily it happened right after, kind of after my last update where, where we had gotten a large sum of money. So we were, um, due to, um, like stimulus, tax return, bonus, they all happened in the same time frame essentially. So we had some money and we were able to use that money, um, we were able to use that money to uh, purchase this new heat pump and furnace. Well, I was having a conversation with my husband a few days later and um, we were talking about how things happened. I was like, bad things usually happen in threes. And so he's like, don't say that. Like, but it's true. I feel like they always do. Well, literally the next day, it's so crazy. Literally the next day I woke up I started a load of laundry and I went into the kitchen to wash some dishes and there was no water. And I was like, that's weird because I just heard it start in the washing machine. And I tried a few other faucets. I looked outside, the sprinklers weren't going and the sprinklers always go in the morning. So I was like, okay, something's weird. So I, I called my husband and I was like, I have no water this morning. Um, what do I do? And he told me to check the, the breaker downstairs. So I went downstairs and it was flipped. And he's like, well, it could be like a fluke thing or something could be going on, but like, let's hope for the first one. So I flipped it, went back upstairs. I heard the uh, pump turn on and the water was going and like, I was like, okay, sweet. Sprinklers came back on. And then not even a minute later, I see the sprinklers stop working. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm, cool. So I called my husband again and I was like, okay, it did it again. We don't have water. And then he was like, okay, try this, like turn the sprinklers off. And then maybe you can like get through the dishes and stuff and I'll, I'll come home early and check things out. Did that, the water still turned off. So we ended up not having water and it was like a hundred degree day, which made me very thankful that we got our heat pump done the week before. <laughs> but he ends up coming home, he checks everything out. We have to call someone. So we, uh, our water is through a well. And so it's not like you can just change the pump yourself or it's, you have to call somebody. It's 150 feet down in the ground where the pump, the well pump is. So we had to call someone. They came out, were able to do it all in one day. Um, but that cost came to around 4,300 bucks. So after we split it, it, our portion was $2,196. Um, which we also paid for in cash, which brings the total of these two things um, close to the $8,000 range, which is pretty substantial. Um, 
had this been a year ago, we wouldn't have been able to do this. We would have had to dip into our almost in our entire emergency fund just to cover these costs. So I'm super grateful that we had the money on hand. And I also honestly think if we weren't doing this no spend year, we wouldn't have been able to do this. We wouldn't have had the money set aside. Um, we still would have got like our tax return bonus and stuff, but I probably would have already distributed it to where it was going. And we just happened to be saving it um, for something else coming up. And then we were going to invest it. So this was money that we were going to invest. We just hadn't, we had some other things we were doing first and making sure we didn't need any extra money for it. Um, so the bummer is, is like, we don't get to invest that $8,000 that we were planning on investing. But the upside is, is we were able to pay cash for these large home expenses. And it also makes me super grateful that um, while it's hard to live with your parent, um, if we wouldn't have had my dad here, it would have cost us like fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000, which we don't have. Um, some other pluses is well pumps, the type we get typically last 20 to 30 years. The one that was pulled out hadn't been around for 30 years. So it's not something we'll probably have to do again for a very long time. Or if we end up selling our property, we probably won't have to do the well pump again. Um, that's also some of the cons of like purchasing an older home. Like right now my kitchen, all the appliances are falling apart. The microwave, like the turntable doesn't turn, hasn't turned since we moved in. Um, our stove top is, um, it doesn't work properly and sometimes it makes a weird noise and it always says that one burner is hot when it's not it, like it could be cooled off all day days and it, the light always stays on saying it's hot. Um, our dishwasher is definitely on its last leg and our fridge sometimes just freezes everything. So <laughs> we know that those are all expenses that are coming up and we're like saving, but that's also a con of living in an older home. All these appliances were replaced um, in like 2008 and they're all getting ready to uh, bite the dust essentially. But um, I just wanted to share that update with you guys to let you know that it's not all just like rainbows and butterflies over here and like everything is going smoothly and we're just investing tons of money. Um, problems do arise and you just have to like pick up and keep going and uh, if you counted, that was only two things, and I think that our salt water, um, salt water, hard water, soft water, our soft water tank is on its last leg. It's currently not working at all. Uh, ever since the water went off, apparently there's something you're supposed to do with your salt water, soft water tank when that, when you have no water. And we didn't know that because it's the first time we've ever had soft water. Um, so... Something happened essentially. It was going out before this, but it's gonna be another like 500-ish bucks to get a new one of those. So that's also something really lovely that we have going on. But I just thought I'd share with you guys this quick update and let you know that problems come up, but you can keep going. Anyways, thanks for watching, bye.